So it's nine o'clock. Let's start our technicals. Nobody knows who steel stone is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Welcome to. Nasty and uh, welcome again in well, our living room. Welcome in our living room. For those of you who are, this is the first time, I am Spanish. You don't know us. This is Sonia, and this over there is the most hardworking uh, dog in the world. Uh, now live in your video, <laughs> in your living room. So tonight the first uh, technique class, online technique class, uh, because of the uh, confinement we are in. So we are going to talk about pivoting. Yes, and I don't know what we were thinking to call this tango and wine, but I was not perfectly thinking this through because tango, wine and pivoting, <laughs> but we will do our best of course. Good. Cheers. Hope you are still safe and in good health. Yes. Okay. Good. First of all, we would really like to uh, thank everybody that has yes. been making uh, donations. Uh, this really helps us out a lot um, as we don't know when we will be able to start uh, again with Tango and what will also happen when we start. We just heard that, heard that um, yeah, confinement measurements are being prolonged until the 3rd of May. So yes, we will do our utmost to give you from our place here online classes. It's not the same, but um, we will give you everything we have. Yes. Okay. Today we will talk about the pivot. Now, yes. there is a few uh, questions that we yep. always receive from people in our classes. So we decided to pour them into this half an hour of technique. So the first question that many people ask us is where exactly does the body weight uh, arrive? is the body weight for the pivot. So where is the body weight for the pivot, Sonia? For me, the body weight of the pivot is I have my chest on the ball of my foot. Yes, she says chest on the ball of her feet, so not the hip on the ball of the on feet, the ball of the because feet. that makes the chest go and backward. as a consequence backward. So that's the first very important part that we try to remember throughout this half an hour. The other question we get is where does the energy come from to create the pivot? Yes. And so, Spam can so tell you. The energy, most people think that the energy comes from the upper body alone. So, like uh, maybe a ballet dancer that makes a big uh, dynamic to make uh, a pivot in the end. But that's not true. In tango, we use the chest, but we also use. We also use, again, the floor, the standing leg, and we create friction. We create really friction in the floor to create the energy. Exactly. So let's combine being with our axis on the front of our feet. The front of our feet doesn't mean on the toes, it just means to the metatars, so to the front. The second part is we start the, to create energy from the chest and then we complete the energy by creating the friction that Sonia was talking about. Okay, good, enough talk. Let's make a little exercise. So everybody, you can stand behind us. Leave us behind Sven. And followers behind me. Yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make some small rotations. So first of all, let's put our body weight a bit to the front. So a bit to the front of our so feet. I go there. A yeah. bit to the front. There. Make sure not to put your hip only, okay? So we really want to put the chest over the metata. If you have uh, children in your house or uh, teenagers, they can say mom or dad, you're with the hips in front. So yeah. don't do it. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is turn back. Sorry. So, we're going to make a small dissociation from the chest. By but small. On which foot are we? We are with our body weight on the right leg. Yeah, okay. Donc on est sur la jambe droite. So we make on the right leg a small dissociation, about 45 degrees. And then we're going to twist our right leg into a quarter turn. And then we do the same. So we make quarter with the upper body, quarter with the feet, a quarter with the upper body, quarter with the feet, un quart avec le coronau, un quart avec le pied en bas, un quart avec le coronau, un quart avec le pied en bas, chest, pivot, chest, pivot, the chest, and the pivot. Okay, good, so far relax. So good. Relax a little bit. Bonsoir Eddie, Dag Eddie, Dag Bart, Dag. Good. Good, good, good. So we did it on the right foot. I will show it on the left foot. On the left. So, so body, body weight, to weight the front. is to the front, and you have the left one 
45 degrees to your left and friction One. with the left. 45 degrees to the left, friction with your feet. To the left, friction. To the left and friction. One more try. To the left, friction. 45 degree, friction. 45 degree, friction. 45 degree, and we're back where we started. Yeah, beaucoup de friction aussi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, we are going to do it again, yes. Sven and me, and you can join along. Just pay attention, the chest part, so when Sonia is making the rotation with the chest, don't do the arms, so don't do the arms, no. but do the shoulders and the chest. Not this. Not this, okay? We're looking for but. the arms stay in the same position in relationship to your body. And when you make that rotation, don't go too far because your lower back will start maybe to ache a little bit. So it's really very small, this dissociation that we can do. And then we pivot. So remember to put your body, your chest, on top of your feet. Okay, let's do that again. Let's try again. So body weight on right. And turn to the right, pivot. Turn to the right and pivot. Turn to the right and pivot. Turn to the right, chest, pivot. Chest, pivot. Chest, not arms, pivot. Chest, not arms, pivot. Chest, not arms, pivot. Okay, body weight onto the left. And you have the arms in front of you. Chest. Don't do this. Don't bring it like that. But it's the chest, chest and, and the pivot. friction. It's the chest, chest and, and the pivot. pivot. It's the chest, chest and the pivot. pivot. It's the chest and the pivot. pivot. One more round. Chest. Across the street, they are wondering what the hell are they doing there. <laughs> they are actually looking in between their curtains. Anyway, good. So this is forward turning. Yes, forward turning. But now we're pivoting, like we would do a forward push. Now we're going to simulate backward turning. So how to do that is we put our weight again on the right, but instead of now turning the chest to the right, we're going to turn the chest to the left, and then pivot to the left. So we are on the right foot, la jambe droite, mais on tourne vers la gauche. Ok? Donc on fait la droite, pivot, la droite, pivot, la droite, pivot. So left, pivot, left, pivot, left, pivot. Relax a bit the legs. This floor is not perfect for no. pivoting. <laughs> um, how is that? Is it not too quick? Do we need to slow down or can you follow? Just to check before we should take a So we did it on the right foot with Sven. Of course, you can do it on the left. And then you will turn with your upper body to right. To right. Yeah. <laughs> and so upper body to the right side. Then, and then pivot. pivot. Upper body. To right. And pivot. pivot. Upper body, only the upper pivot. body, not the arms, not like this. Upper body, pivot. Upper body, pivot. Upper body, pivot. Upper body and pivot. Upper body, pivot. And pivot. Okay, good. Relax a little bit the legs. Okay, good. Now, um, don't worry about the balance. Um, we will work a little bit on that immediately. Let's try one more time this backward one on the right leg. Five, six, seven, and so we're on the right. Turn to left. Oh, turn to left. Hi, ah, Alexios. Alexios has a question. Let's check later when we finish the exercise. We go left, pivot, left, pivot, left with the chest, pivot, left with the chest, pivot. Okay. We do it one more time on the left side. So wait and on left. And then we answer the question. Wait on left. So turn wait to the on right. left. And you turn to the right. Da. And pivot. You turn da. to the right. Pivot. pivot. You turn da. to right. Pivot. pivot. You turn da. to right. Pivot. pivot. Again, da. one two. Pivot. And a quarter. Da. Pivot. And the chest da. with a pivot. Da. Ultima with a pivot. pivot. What would be good is if we would to attach like a mop or something underneath our feet, then the house will get clean as well. <laughs> okay, let's check Alexis' question. Question. 
Uh, when you are rotating, do you feel like A, pressing down, screwing into the floor, B, remaining same level, C, pressing slightly up? That's a very good question, Alexios, as always. So, uh, the answer to your question is probably as you would were to uh, think. We're actually creating a sort of opposition in tango. So, the chest is always going upwards and the feet and the hips try to remain more grounded. So that means that in the moment that after I make the dissociation, that this feels like I screw into the floor. So A. So A. So I, I'm not looking for the same level. I'm not looking for upward level. I'm actually looking for more like inside of the floor. So screwing inside of the floor. So make sure not, this is the first on YouTube, make sure not to lock your knees, okay? So when you do the pivot, you will he want... He needs to shave! <laughs> you will, I need to wear different socks for this. You will want to make, make the knee unlock when you do it. So you have the chest and the pivot. Okay, we have this now on live YouTube. <laughs> Um, it's good to see also some um, older students back, so welcome, Hi, Micah. Micah. <laughs> um, good. So I hope that answers the question. Perfect. Now, um, let's talk a little bit more technically Technical. also about this. So one thing is to go into the floor. The second thing is um, something that might occur, if we show from the profile also Sonia, is that when we make our chest rotate to the side, that you over rotate and that your hip starts to move to the front. So if you do too much this, your hip will start to move to the front as a consequence. Okay? That's one possibility of doing it wrong. The other, as a follower, you will want to follow completely your partner in the upper body and you will create the same movement as Fan was explaining from your shoulder. So if you follow the movement in the shoulder, you will have the difficulty in the hip and the lower back. So, on veut éviter ce ça. Yes, exactly. Because the consequence of doing that is that your hip moves to the front, to the back to the front of your feet, but your chest moves to the back of your feet. So in that moment, your body weight is actually on the back of your feet and you will lose the balance. After if you feet. recall, we told you in the beginning, the chest has to be on top of the feet and it has to stay there when you do the feet. Yes. Now, what we do in tango many times is we try to ensure a little bit. Before we make the pivot, you can actually try to make sure that your hip moves slightly in a line backwards. I will exaggerate, like you would be doing this. Slightly backwards, like you would make a back step afterwards. So pretend you're going to make a back step and then turn your chest and then pivot. Once it's there, you can keep it there. So there's no more need to always do this. And turn. So you don't need to do that. Once it's there, you can keep it there. Okay. So putting the hip in the right position is like starting the engine of a car or a motorcycle. Once it's on, you can just start yeah, to drive. Exactly. You don't have to turn it on and off. <laughs> okay. Good. Now um, let's practice half a turn. So we were doing a 90 degree turn. Now we make 180 degree turn. And we start on our, the right foot. We start on the right foot. So we make our dissociation, the same size of dissociation, but more energy with the pivot, with the friction, and the hip moves a bit backwards. So let's go first, without dissociation, hip backwards, dissociate, and then more friction. And then the chest comes back in front. The hip back, chest to the back, and then more friction. The chest comes back. We're in neutral now. The car is turned on. And back. Go back with the hip. Chest. Chest. Friction. Friction. Turn the chest back in front. Okay. Now, chest. And then friction. And then back in front. And then chest. Friction. Back in the front. You can move the hip backwards. You have to check because sometimes it will go in front. So I would show from here. So put it go back. There. Chest. And then the chest. Friction. And then you have the friction and the friction. Okay, good. Let's try the so other the left. Relax so the knee left joints. Knees. So we're now on the left. On the left. Pay attention to have the hip backwards. And then you go to the left. Chest. And then you make half a turn. Now. Okay. Come back. The chest back in front. And chest, chest. over there. You make the pivot, come back in front, chest. Make sure your hip is backwards, chest. Make your friction, come back. 
One more and chest. Then make your friction, half a turn, and come back in front. Hi, Irina and Matthias. And good. Uh, did you have your shoes on, my dear? <laughs> now, <laughs> anyway, Again. welcome. On the left. And da and friction. Come back okay. to the front. Chest. Chest. Friction. Chest. Come back. Chest. Friction. Chest. One more time. Chest. Friction. Chest. Okay. Now that was a forward turn. You will realize that afterwards that that was a forward turn. Now we're going to do a backward turn. So we put our weight onto our right leg and we will turn the chest to the left and then make the friction to the left as well. So but first neutral. Make sure your hip is there. Your hip goes to the correct position. Then we're going to go turn to the left with your chest and then friction to end up in front of the camera. Then chest, friction, chest, chest, friction, chest, chest, friction, chest, chest, friction, chest, chest, friction, chest. Okay, good. Let's relax a bit. We do that on the other leg. <laughs> so you left. have the left and then you have the hip backwards. You go to right with the chest and friction to the left. Okay. Come back. Chest. The chest. Friction left. The chest. Chest. Friction avec la gauche. Avant en avant. The chest. Friction. And in front. Matthias is cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's only Irina. And Good job. Uh, just don't let's spend the stretch you in front. And just friction, chest, and just friction, chest. One more. Chest, friction, and chest. Okay, good. Now just one of the remark, you always notice that when we make our movement, so we have, for example, chest, the friction, and then we bring the chest back in front of where we are actually rotated with the hip at that point. So it feels a bit like in the moment that I make the rotation, it feels, I will show from the profile, so if I make this, it feels a bit like, let's say, like you're skiing and that you're pushing something in that direction with your upper body. So it feels like there's an opposition going on there and then the chest come back in front. So we need that opposition to continue the friction below. Because if you do this right, correct, but then you take this part immediately with the pivot, you will lose the balance after the pivot. So it feels a bit like we put the chest and while we want to make the friction on the floor, it feels like I'm sticking two sticks in the floor here, like I'm skiing, like I do this idea. Okay? But without yarn, of course, it would be a bit weird in tango. Okay, good. Let me check my program. Let's check our program. Uh, um, uh, let's have a little bit of wine. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the hip, we talked about the shoulders, we talked how your body weight is on the ball of your fo foot. Um, and now we can go into the step pivot motion. Yes. Which Fen has a nice explanation for. I hope. So basically, in tango, most of the time, uh, the pivot is preceded. So uh, avant le pivot, il y a un pas. So preceded by the step. Um, sometimes for the men, no, when we do sort of en rosques or lapis or something, sometimes it can be on the spot or also for the followers. But most of the time, like 90% of the time, there is always a step, a forward one or a back one. So we need to be able to make that forward one, that forward step, and then to meet the expectations, the two expectations we said in the beginning. So we need to make sure that we arrive Sorry. in our forward step to the front of our feet. And the second expectation we need to meet is we cannot be with the hip in front. So those are the two prerequisites to be able to make your uh, pivot afterwards. So if you would make a picture of Sven's starting position. This picture would be click, click. the same as this, click, click. but then to the front of my feet at the end. So but almost the same. The only thing that changed is... The upper is body is 
there. The upper body doesn't change. That's what we want to say. Exactly. So let's try to think that now. We're going to imagine that, that we just push our body position forward without thinking of turning it. So we just go forward to the front of our feet and then backward, change the weight. Forward, we finish in the front of our feet and then backward, Change your weight. We can all do that, huh? Because as a follower, forward, forward and backward, backward. change your weight. And forward, forward and on the front of your feet. Try to exaggerate that feeling. Be there. And then go back, back. change your weight, and, and forward. Okay, and backward. Change again. Okay, now usually there is a partner there. So we have from the beginning a dissociation. So when we start, there's like dissociation, and then we make forward to the front of our feet. So now try to do it with a dissociation. So turn towards the camera or turn towards the side that your leg is stepping. Back. Change. Change and then change to the other one. One to the front of your feet and then change. Dissociation, forward to the front of your feet, back, change, forward to the front, back, change. Pay attention because you will want to do, because of the dissociation, you will want to arrive like this, which will make your hip go forward and you will not meet the requirements to be able to make that pivot. Remember in class you're always saying that actually the leg that is going is the leg that is in holiday mode. So it's for now to talk in terms in confinement. The work, <laughs> <laughs> the work happens in the standing leg so the pushing me forward is there and not here. Just so you remember everything we told you already um, before now backstepping same idea same picture this part of my body it doesn't move backwards when i walk backwards no we take the picture and then we extend the leg and we push to our step in the same motion so let's try it and we go first into the forward, forward step change your then we go back back and keep it. Change your weight. Forward again. Forward. And back. Back. Arrive to the front of your feet. Check Change. that. Change. And push forward. Arrive. And now push backwards. Same position here. And yeah. then change. And check your position here that yeah. you are not in the back of your feet, but that you are still in the front of your feet. Yeah. Okay. So let's yeah. do that four more times. We start with right forward. We go with right forward and right, arrive. Left back. Then we go left back and change. And left forward now, collect. Backward with right, arrive. Change the weight. Right forward, arrive. Go change, go back. Now you change. And go forward, arrive, collect, push backwards, and arrive. Change. Try with the dissociation now. Which is. So we go forward first. Forward. Arrive. And. And now we're going to dissociate towards the partner, which is going to be to uh, the other side, sorry, <laughs> the other side when we walk backwards. So when we go with left, we dissociate to the right. Okay, again. So we go back with left, dissociation to the right. Let's start over. I propose to start over and forward step with right. Then dissociation, backward step, maintain the body. Change the weight. Change the weight. Then to the other side. Forward and backward. Dissociation is to the left. Change again. To the right. Forward step with right. Dissociation is also right, but you step left backwards. Okay, Change. now pay attention because the dissociation, the same as in the forward step, it's not because that she makes the dissociation that she's going to start to make like a turning movement because of that. So we really try to maintain the line. Okay, now we will rotate afterwards. Yeah. Okay, I suggest that we try now to step 
and rotate because we are reaching the limit of the time. Good. So let's start with a forward step. So leaders and followers, we all together. Right. We dissociate to the right, our right side, and we're going to step forward to the right. Okay. We will show it from the other direction so that everybody can see the same image. So we dissociate to the right, we step forward with the right. We finish our step in the front, and now we are already in the dissociation, so the only thing that we need to do now is make the friction, and then the chest slightly back in front. Now we will go forward with left, the dissociation to the left is done, okay, and now we will create the friction on the floor, chest back in front. Okay, we're going to dissociate to the right, make our step, finish the step in the front of your feet, and then friction to the other side. Then chest back in front, chest to the left, left. Step. step, push finish yourself, the step. finish it, and then friction. friction. Come back in front, chest to the right, and step, step. to finish it, finish the step, and the friction. friction. Come back. Five. And one more time. Left. Step. Finish it. And mm -hmm. left turn. And one more time. Back. And. Okay, good. Now, that's as, forward turning. Exactly. As we already said before we start with the backward turning, you will want to do this. So, when you will show to the camera, when you make your forward step and your dissociation, Many people will want to make the step, the dissociation, and start to turn before they really arrive. So what will happen is that your hip will move to the front as a consequence, your chest will move backwards to your feet, and while turning it will be very hard not to fall to that next step. There is a reason why we make it in phases. So phase one. Phase one, dissociation. Phase two, the steps. steps. Finish the steps. Finishes on the front of the foot, collect, and then friction three. to the other side. Okay. Which is the friction. And then, yeah, our partner is still there, so we keep the dissociation going on. So we step, finish the step in the front, collect, pivot. So make sure that your hip here doesn't go forward. Okay, so you don't want to create this because you will fall. Okay. Yeah. You can try that all by yourself. If you need some wall support, you can always try it like this. Just be sure not to do it in this way. And no hip in front. But okay. Backwards. backwards, a lot more challenging by yourselves, but fingers crossed I can very, do this for you. Very, very doable. Eh? So just arrive to the front of your feet yeah. and keep your hips behind so your chest. We have dissociation to the right. I will step with left. left now. I will arrive into the same position I was before. I keep this dissociation friction. Friction and again, side. this part is connected with the partner. So that's my partner here. He's there, but I'm here. So now right is going to go backwards. Pay attention to the chest. Collect your feet. Friction. Very and nice. backwards. Pay attention not to go here. But there. Collect. And friction. And step. Uh -huh. pivot uh, without losing the balance too much. Now, uh, of course, there is a lot of work that goes into this, but the most important work that we can suggest that you can try to do is to try to realize the beginning position where we were trying the exercise there, so that your hip never moves to this position while making the rotations. So if you can master that, actually the pivot starts to become very, That's very... That's an essential easy. key part for every pivot you will want to do in tango. Exactly. Now, as I said, the step that precedes the ocho makes it sometimes difficult because sometimes, because of the step, you start to make the rotation too early and you're not finishing on the front of your feet. The same I saw a lot with ladies happening is that when you make a back step, so a back step and a pivot, is that many ladies will go a little bit over the feet with their chest and they will end up in the same 
not so beneficial position to make the rotation. And that's why you lose the equilibrium. Exactly. So remember, your goal is to arrive with your chest in the front of your feet. The front of the feet. And your goal is not to arrive on the, the back. back of your feet. Because then you will make a step. Okay. So that's something you need to realize. Also for the leaders, we are not talking about leading this yet, but you need to realize that you cannot push her to the back of her feet to lead her. You have to keep her there and lead the rotation while she's on the front of her feet. Okay, yeah. good. Let's make uh, an exercise now that we go a bit forward and that we return. Eh? So let's do that. We are not talking at all about stepping. We will talk about the stepping technique next week, next Wednesday at 9. So yes. just as next you Wednesday, know. take a stepping technique. Yeah. So don't pay attention to that. No, it might have been a better idea to do first the stepping technique, but, but, uh, hey, but yeah. hey, it's Corona guys. <laughs> Good. So let's try once more forward a few times and then let's try once more backwards yeah. and let's think really about finishing on the front of our feet and making the rotation. Do we then. do it in couple or separate? No, we do it separately. We do it separately. Okay. So, step so showing the forward step. We go, I join with him. So we go and we go with the right leg forward, dissociation, and one, finish in the front, change, pivot. Two, finish in the front, change, pivot. Three, in the front, collect, pivot. Five, to the front, collect, pivot. Five, to the front, collect, pivot. One, to the front, collect, Pivot, one to the front, collect, pivot. Okay, let's try backwards. I want to emphasize on the collecting, for the followers especially, if you don't collect, you will want to turn like this. I'm exaggerating, eh? But so, stepping and collecting helps you pivoting, also in the back step. So, I step backward, I collect, they make a pivot. I step backward, I collect, and I do the friction. Back, collect, friction, back, collect, here is my collection, and the friction. Step, collect, friction, step, collect, friction, and pop up, back. Very good. Yeah. Okay. We remind you that the technique for both leaders and followers is exactly the same. Leaders, you might wonder why you would ever need that back one. Well, you, we used it a lot in tango when we go backwards to afterwards actually generate this movement where we are going into a lapis or an enrosque. It can be in the front as well where we do this and then we do these kind of movements in tango. Okay, so they require the same, the same work, the same technique, and they are fairly simple if you yeah. take into account those little tricks. Did we say everything? Yes. Okay, yes. to summarize. Yes. So, we said not so many things today. Well, maybe yes, many words, but they all mean the same thing. We want to be able to pivot with our chest line on the ball of our feet, not with the line of the hips. We only. want to do that in the relaxed joints with yeah. the knees. Inside the floor, okay. The pivot is generated by... First, you go with the chest and then you create friction on the floor. Exactly. So, the chest movement that we are doing, usually, but almost all the time, it is actually done because we are dancing in couple. So look, if she steps forward here, she already has the chest during the forward step there. So I she doesn't need to add no. anything extra. I simply need to collect and then create friction on the floor. Exactly. Step, there. arrive. Friction. Exactly. Step yeah. around completely and friction. the friction. Okay. That's basically all that we were talking about today. We would like to thank you very much for your attention and we want to say cheers. goodbye with a cheers and a glass yeah. in our hand. We will be back tomorrow for the intermediate yeah. and advanced class. It will be at a quarter to eight. We also have the second. Quarter to eight. A quarter to nine, sorry. Quarter to nine. Uh, we have also the second year's class that is at uh, eight o'clock. Um, so the second year class is about one and a half years of experience uh, that is being acquired. In those two classes, we'll be focusing more about steps and structures. Um, the other thing we would like to say is thank you for joining this technique class. The video remains online available so you can rewatch it reanalyze it at mu as much as possible. Exactly. If you have suggestions, questions, you can write us an email. And 
if you would like, I don't know, you put it in the in the description yeah, below. There is a link, and we would like, if you like to do that for us, uh, write a Google review. So uh, we are getting our ranking a little bit higher, and then after this Corona crisis, we can build up our business again like it was before. That we really appreciate. So thank you if you exactly. Can join By the way, also below in the description is the wine that we are drinking. So <laughs> after the confinement, it's something that you should I need try. I go on a diet. <laughs> Good. Anyway, thank for you for now. joining. See you tomorrow. See yes. you next week maybe. And uh, we hope to really, really see you soon in real life. Cheers and stay safe, everybody. And healthy. Good night. Bye bye. 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 The pivot dummy is uh, always, uh, in this case, half a turn. Now we're only making half a turn, we're never talking full turn. Thank you guys. Bye, Paul.